Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghost Rider. The facts. First, Jamal saw something that looked like monsters in the park. The next day, in the same place, he found a coded message and a button that said Fabto. Then, Jamal and Lenny saw something really strange. Jamal! I know, me too. Plus, there's a backpack thief on the loose. Hey, that's mine! Now here's some new facts from the last show. First, Jamal and Lenny made a cool new friend. It can't hear, but it can read and write. Ghost Rider! Ghost Rider's trying to help them figure out what Thabto means and who's swiping the backpacks. Next, Jamal asked Alec to help solve the coded message that he found. He thinks it has something to do with Thabto. Lenny Frazier tells me that you're uh, good at solving puzzles and mysteries and stuff. Uh, not really. I'm great at it. Alex figured out what kind of code it is. This code replaces letters with different letters. Then, Jamal and Alex help Gabby look for her stolen backpack, and something really wild happens. What is that thing? You can see that? What do you mean? Of course I can see it. There are a lot of questions that need answering, like, what were the monsters Jamal saw in the park? Can the kids crack the mysterious coded message? Who is the backpack thief? And what does Thabto mean? Now this is what I call a mystery. Get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because you haven't seen anything yet. Lover of mysteries. Wow. Jamal, what's going on? It's Ghost Rider, man. He's writing to you. Ghost Rider? What are you, nuts or something? It's gone. Oh, man, this is some weird place. Stolen backpacks, aliens. He's not an alien. He's Ghost Rider. Oh, come on. Be serious. I am serious. You mean to tell me that that thing, those glowing letters or whatever it is, belongs to you? No, he... Then you belong to him. No. You went to another planet and back or something. Just chill out, okay? Besides, Lenny can see him too. Lenny? Who else knows? I don't know. I thought it was just the two of us until you... So what is he then? Well... You might not want to hear this. What? Tell me. Let's put it this way. He used to be a person, but he's not anymore. I don't get it. We think he might be a ghost, but we're not sure. Where does he live? How does he live? Is he, like, on a mission? How does he know my name? Whoa, the... whoa, Alex. I just saw him for the first time two days ago. You saw him? He's writing, I mean. But I... Look, he's a friend. He wants to be friends with us. Why us? We don't know. All we know is that he doesn't know who he is or where he came from, and that somehow he's connected to words. Wow. We also know that he can read words in one place and print them out someplace else. You see this backpack? He read these words yesterday and sent them to me. He also read the word Fabto in the same place that might mean that Thabto and the stolen backpacks are connected. Yeah, but whatever we do, first we gotta return this bag to this uh, Felix kid. Yeah, and we gotta tell Lenny about you and Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, what a trip. This Ghost Rider stuff is really cool. An invisible secret partner? Just think the possibilities. Like he could help us with our schoolwork. Hey, yeah. Maybe he can read books and do book reports for me. Yeah, maybe he can also do math. Probably just word problems. <laughs> hey, word up. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. Maybe he can even give us answers on a test. Yeah. Hey, yo, Ghost Rider, <laughs> uh, can you give us answers on a test? He can't hear you, remember? You've got to write it down. All oh, right. Ghost Rider. Can you give us answers on a test? Whoa! 
that something something eating? What does eating have to do with what I asked them? I don't know. Wait a minute. You asked him if he could give you answers on a test, right? Yeah. And what do you call it when you give someone answers on a test? Cheating. So eating must be cheating. Right. It says that that would be cheating. Hey, cool. Well, at least he's honest. Yeah. Which means he won't be reading our diaries and stuff if we don't want him to. <laughs> <laughs> but why'd he leave those blank spaces? He took the letters from the question you asked and wrote his answer out with them. These are the only letters he had to use. I guess he can only use letters that are nearby. Except for when he's in a computer. Then he can write anything. We should let him know we're honest, too. After all, we wouldn't really have him cheap for us. I guess not. Just kidding. I wonder if Ghost Rider could help us figure out who's stealing backpacks. Sure he can. Ghost Rider wants to help us. He helped us the first time when he sent us that Thapto message. I still say this button is connected to the backpack thefts. What about the coded message? That might be connected, too. You did find the message and the button in the same place. Yeah, so cracking the code has got to be the first step in getting our hands on those backpack-busting bullies. Let's ask Ghost Rider if he can find more Thapto buttons. Yeah, maybe he can even help us crack the code. Hey, cracking codes is my specialty. Then how come you haven't cracked it yet? Besides, it's my code. Do you have it now? It's sitting on my desk at home. That's only because Look. I gave it to you. Are you guys going to be fighting all the time? Because if you are, we can just call quits right now, OK? Truce. Truce. OK, I'm writing to Ghost Rider. Right, Ghost Rider. Yeah. Why don't we make up some kind of special Ghost Rider handshake? Yeah. Like what? Let me see. Yeah. Hey, let me try that. <laughs> yeah. Got it down. <laughs> Ghost Rider seal of approval. Our secret. Just the three of us. Some things you just feel. upon by some incredibly hungry giant green pterodactyl from prehistoric times. Luckily, his food interest didn't include sweet, innocent girls like me. And then there's a junkyard where I know about that already. Thanks. You know, I've always wanted to be a newscaster. Do you think you might need an anchor person for your... No, thanks. All I need are the facts. I figure if we looked at my code books one more time, maybe we... Oh, hi. This is Tia Nguyen. She's a fifth grader at my school. Also a big time reporter for Washington School Action News Team. Not that big time, really. Tina, my brother Alex, and Jamal. Hello. Hi. Oh, <laughs> hi. She's the one I told you about who's doing the story on the backpack thefts. It's really terrible what's been happening. Yeah. I know. Fourteen victims already. Eight girls and six boys. And the really creepy thing is that most of them said the thief was wearing this 
goggly-eyed mask that made him look like he had two faces. So that's why I thought that kid was running backwards. A mask on the back of his head. I could swear that's what I saw last week in the park, Thursday night. I'll get a notebook. We have to write everything down for you know who, and so we don't forget. Well, thanks for the info. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? This is Tina's story, not yours. Oh, that's okay. Listen, <laughs> this stolen backpack stuff's a mystery, a case. And a good detective always writes stuff down, like suspects and evidence. Who said you're a good detective? Hey, cool. A case book. <laughs> yeah, a case book. I'll show you how to make one sometime. OK. Well, I got to go. Thanks again, Gabby. Sure. Good luck, detective. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I'll see you later, all right? <laughs> oh, so funny. He likes her. <laughs> he likes her. Who? He knows. No, I don't know. Yes, you do. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, see this, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Look, we gotta stick to this mask connection. Yeah, looks like all the thieves were wearing those same double masks. I wonder where they got them. What kind of store would sell stuff like that? Wait a minute. How about a store that would sell buttons like these? Man, right under our noses. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Katie Pasta, Alex. How did you do in your social studies test? I got 105. Extra credit question. You're brilliant, Calvin. Who is this bozo? Calvin Ferguson. His parents own the store. He's in some of my classes. It's not polite to whisper. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friend? Tomorrow, Jenkins. What's up, homie? What's up, homie? Is that bird real? Or is there a tape recorder in there? That's it. That's what I saw at the park. Man, this thing is gross. Yeah. The thieves must have bought their masks from here. And look over here. Buttons. Made to order. Like the Thapto buttons. This is solid evidence. We should write this in our case book. He's on the case. He said he'd try and help. <gasps> Your public awaits, Calvin. <laughs> Do you know who ordered this? Are you from Mars or what? Whatever, me. <laughs> I can't give you information like that. It's uh, confidential. Hey, Alex, look. Get that down, man. Get what down? <laughs> Can I help you further? He's helpful, he's charming. Oh, he's 
charming. <laughs> what a bird brain. <laughs> well, at least we found out when Santos got their masks and buttons. Ghost Rider must have read this somewhere in the store. Five, 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 one, nine, six, six. You know, you leave your phone number when you place a special order. Oh, yeah. I did that once. It's a new computer game. They called me when it came in. So maybe somebody named Dan ordered four buttons with Apto printed on them. And he left his phone number. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We've got to go tell Lenny. So you think we should call this Dan guy? Definitely. But how are we going to get him to tell us what Fabto means? Alex is right. If he is one of the backpack thieves, he's not just going to volunteer the information. Or maybe he will, if we say we're from the party animal store and we need some information for our mailing records. <laughs> I could pretend to be Calvin. And uh, I'll be his bird. Ark, you're lame, Calvin! <laughs> <laughs> See if you can get his whole name. Ask him what Fabto means. And his address. See the double master for Shh. Hold it, you guys. I've got to think. <laughs> yes. Uh, hello, Dan. This is uh, Calvin Ferguson from the party animal store. Ark, you're brilliant, Calvin. <laughs> uh, yes. Listen, we are just uh, updating our mailing list, and we'd like to get your full name and uh, address. Oh, okay. He doesn't want to be on our mailing list. Ask him about Fabto. Uh, yes. You remember that, uh, that button you ordered, don't you? Yes, well, it was so strange that we wanted to know exactly what does Fabto mean for our records, just in case you wanted to order any more. That was a bust. What'd he say? He said he doesn't want to order anymore because there are only four members on his team. Then he hung up. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? We know two things now that we didn't know before. That the Thabdos are a team and that there are only four members. Did you see those four guys wearing the same jackets? Lenny, they're on the basketball team. Oh. <laughs> My brain's getting fried from trying to find those Thabdos. <laughs> Lenny, look! Penco Products Incorporated, 163 Fabto. Ghost Rider's trying to send us a message about a Fabto. Penco Products. Where have I seen that before? I'll ask him what he means. I guess he doesn't know. A locker number, Lenny. A locker number. The locker number of a Thabto team member. The numbers go this way. Come on. Here it is. But whose locker is it? Anybody. Maybe the person left school early. <laughs> yeah, to rob some poor little kids. I hope Jamal had better luck with the school secretary. Well? Nothing. The secretary wouldn't even give me 163's name. A dead end. <sighs> okay, look. We're just going to have to keep an eye out on that locker. That's all. In the meantime, we'll just keep on trying to crack that code. I'm for that. <laughs> Me too. Oh, but first I gotta pick up Gabby from school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Tina showed her video about the backpack robbers at assembly today. 
The principal told everybody that we had to be very careful. It's a terrible thing when children can't even walk to school. All of us bananas. bananas. I feel very safe with Alex. Well, that's what a big brother is for. We gotta crack that coded message. Yeah. What coded message? Never mind, Gabby. All right, then. Don't tell me. But after you crack your coded message, maybe you want to help me crack the coded message that I got. What? You got a coded message? Yeah. Can we see it? I'll think about it. Where'd you get this? I found it in my trivia book in my backpack when I got to school this morning. It was left by the thief. And it turns out that everybody who found the stolen backpack found the same weird note. I've been trying to figure it out all day. Cab, your old pal, old chum, my favorite sister. I'm your only sister. Don't try to butter me up. Your note would give us more letters to work with, but we don't need them. OK. Now that we have two messages, what can we figure out? One thing we pretty much know for sure. Both messages are from Thabto. How do we know that? First of all, both are written on the same kind of paper, in the same type of lettering. And second, Jamal found his message right next to a Thabto button. And you found yours in your backpack, which is probably stolen by a Thabto. All right. Then what do they say? We don't know yet. They're in code. But they can't be in the code where the letters are scrambled. Because we've already tried that. This must be a code where one letter stands for another letter. So what do we do first? See this letter? This must be an I or an A. Why do you think that? Because it's a one-letter word. And in English, the only words that have just one letter in them are I and A. 14, 15, 16, and 17. Look, I counted 17 R's in the two messages. That's more than any other letter. How's that gonna help? Because E is the letter used the most in the English language. R might be E. I'm gonna try something. If R stands for E, then S stands for F, and then a G, H, I, Hey, the V is I. I knew it. So, Alex, what happens when you get to the Z? You just go to the beginning and write the rest of the letters up here. N, O, P, and all the rest. All done. Let's see how it works with the messages. I'm getting something already. Me too. O and the G is a T. Got! I got something. The P is a C. Secret. Secret. It's getting there. So's Gabby's. Away. I got away. Just a few more letters to go. There. Well, Gab? Hey. Hey. Ah, we did it. We cracked the code. Neat and clean, I got away. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, all right. I can't wait to get my hands on that thab toe. He stole my money, and I want it back. Meeting Friday, September 12th. The final secret ceremony. Secret ceremony? That must have been when I saw in the park last week. That's this Friday. But it doesn't say what time or where. It must be in the last three words. Renrock Evan Dre. What's that mean? Another, Another code. code. And it took us four days to crack the first one. And the secret ceremony's only three days away. Shoot. My eyes hurt from all this code stuff.
Maybe we can ask Ghost Rider if he could help us some more. Whatever we want him to do, we've got to write it down so he can read it because he can't hear us. How can we write the Ghost Rider with Gabby nosying to everything we do? Besides, Ghost Rider hasn't written to her. I wonder why not? Maybe she's too young. Or maybe Ghost Rider only writes to one person per family. What's wrong? 